The Southeast Asian carrier market is rapidly evolving at the moment and we're joined here at Carriers World by Buddy Sitara Dharmapurda, CMO of Indonesia's Telen, to find out more. So Buddy, tell us a little bit about the carrier picture across Telen's markets. Yeah, I think uh, similar with the other carriers around the world that everybody now moving to a digital business. So I think uh, that's the challenge, how uh, the carriers that traditionally are doing, especially on the wholesale business now, uh, how can they transform and then to position their staff, how to support the growth of this business in the sector. So moving from the traditional carriers on the wholesale, now how, how to become the enabler to support the growth and take advantage of the, the growth of the digital business. And what is Telling doing to address these challenges? Well, uh, it started from Telkom Indonesia. We already uh, declared ourselves to become uh, the digital uh, king of digital in the region. So, Telling uh, then, uh, as a wholly owned subsidiary of PT Telkom Indonesia, then position ourselves how to become the global digital hub, at least in the region, uh, to support uh, the growth of the digital business. So, how we can uh, get the uh, or bring the capability from global market to strengthen the telecom position in Indonesia to serve our uh, Indonesian people on the digital business uh, uh, better, and then uh, also we are trying to get also the to become the friend of all digital players. So how we can help them to grow the business in 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 in, Indone uh, in Asia especially in Indonesia market because uh, we have, uh, I think, one of the largest eyeballs in, in Asia Pacific. Yeah. And so in order to do that, we already uh, uh, have the plan how we improve ourselves. First is, of course, we need to strengthen our, our uh, capability in terms of the infrastructure. We strengthen our connectivity network and then providing the managed service. And then the second thing is we invest a lot or uh, quite aggressive uh, to develop on the carrier natural data center which become the enabler of all these uh, digital players that want to come uh, to Asia especially to Indonesia and we just launched our new brand of our carrier natural data center what we call is a new centric uh, so so uh, this one is uh, become the enable but it's not enough so Telin also will focus on investing on the platform as enabler uh, make easier all digital players to be connected with us and also improving our uh, solution services in order to, to address their needs and requirement. I think the needs and requirement is a bit different with traditional uh, carriers or, or providers. And you mentioned obviously the Indonesian market where you're based. It's a real hub at the moment, isn't it, of startups and innovation? Yeah, I think it's just uh, the adoption of the digital technology is, is, is quite good in Indonesia. We can see the growth of starting from the internet traffic from Indonesia. The growth is about 50% uh, uh, annually. And the adoption also on the smartphone is also increasing. So, and then it drives the other services like uh, on the e-commerce, uh, on the other digital uh, players. I think. Most of the now the the e-commerce company, the big guy already put a lot of investment, especially coming from China. They invest a lot uh, in in Indonesia, like uh, Alibaba, uh, Tencent. They, they invest in some uh, digital company in Indonesia. So uh, we see that uh, uh, that the growth on this area is going to be uh, quite significant in very near future. Buddy, thank you very much for your time here at Carrie's Will. Yeah, thank you.